A low yo-yo is a nose low out of plane maneuver that increases your closure and reduces the range when you're stuck in lag when you're unable to turn with a bandit. This is a maneuver which can be used as a follow-up after a high yo-yo. In this scenario, we're turning with a bandit, but we're stuck in lag pursuit, which means that we'll be unable to close the range between us quickly. Then we can roll to the inside of his turn and pull down, creating some lead pursuit and generating closure by cutting across the inside of his turn circle. Then you can start bringing the nose back up and climbing towards the bandit, intercepting it within firing range. And then you can maneuver and get back into play with the bandit if you miss. The low yo-yo is commonly used when you're in lag pursuit outside of firing range with low closure and aspect and you're unable to turn inside of the bandit. Your goal is going to be to increase closure and get within firing range, which you're going to do by rolling and pulling inside of the bandit's turn and descending below his plane of motion with lead pursuit to generate the closure. Then you can begin a climb and intercept the bandit within your firing range and rejoin his plane of motion in good position. The higher your initial range is, the more lead you're going to need to reduce that range quickly. This maneuver is one that's easily defended against, which we'll look at now. The first way to defend against the low yo-yo is if you're with a higher energy state, in which case you can bring the nose high. So watching the bandit, we'll see him commit nose low and lead pursuit. We can respond by easing our turn and pulling up into a climb. Then we'll roll and put our lift vector on him and start pulling. We'll end up with a gravity assist to increase our turn performance and hopefully take away his initial position advantage. Now how much advantage you can take away depends on how much he commits his nose low in the manoeuvre. If he commits it too low, then as you come back over the top, you can force a neutral head-on pass. The second way to respond to a low yo-yo is by going nose low. In this situation, he's going to bid again to the inside of our turn with a low yo-yo. We'll respond by rolling towards him, putting a lift vector on him and start pulling hard. This will create a high aspect pass, which we can either go offensive afterwards, or we can unload and extend to gain separation, which we can then use to come back and then try and transition to be offensive. In this case, I'm turning back towards the bandit, and I'm performing a lead turn. This way I'll gain some angles on him before we pass. When defending against a low yo-yo, it's important to be able to recognize the bandit's intention to do so very early. Then, you can choose a nose high or low defense depending on your energy state. With a high energy state, you can go nose high and begin a climb, then roll back towards the bandit and as you come over the top, use that gravity assist and hopefully you can increase the turn performance enough to finish behind their 3-9 line or at least take away their initial position advantage. If your energy state is too low to perform the nose high defense, then you want to roll towards the bandit, place the lift vector on them and start pulling. This way, you can take away as much turning room as possible and then create a high aspect head-on pass. You don't have to be offensive as soon as possible when you're trying to defend. You just want to focus on neutralizing the bandit's position advantage and then try and transition to being offensive or escape. That finishes the lesson on the low yo-yo and how to defend against it. If you liked it, let me know with the like button or leave a comment. Don't forget to be a subscriber using that bell icon. That way you can see new videos as they're released.